everyone! Today I will be showing you five different knots that you can use in case you ever get tired of using just the standard square knot. Let's get started. The first knot I will be showing you is called the triangle knot. So I'm going to take the string here on the left side and cross it behind the string that hangs on the right to form a loop. I like to pinch it right here where they overlap and taking that same cord I'm going to cross it back behind the same rope to form a second loop, this time on the right. Now I'm going to take this long string on the right that's hanging straight down, I'm going to take it behind everything and send it up through the loop on the left. Now I'm going to kind of cross it over itself and send it through the loop on the right. And now I just pull and adjust my ropes until I form the knot. Just like that. Now it's placed a little farther down and this rope isn't as tight, so just to adjust this, I just go through and I just gently pull on each rope to adjust and place it where I want it to sit. Just like that. Once you feel confident using two ropes, you can double this up to use four, which is the number of ropes you would traditionally use for a square knot. Now I will be showing you how you can make the cross knot. I'm going to take the side here on the left, and I'm going to cross it over the right string to form a loop. Now I'm going to twist that same rope behind the right string to form another loop. And then it's going to twist around one more time, going behind the right rope once again to form a third loop. And I like to kind of pinch my ropes here to have two well-defined loops that I can see on the left side. Okay, this is what it looks like. Hold my ropes. Now I'm going to take the string hanging straight down, the one on the right. I'm going to send it behind both loops on the left and send it up through that top loop. And then I send it through the bottom loop. So it's right over that bottom loop and I just pull it through. And now I can just pull my ropes and tighten up the knot. Just like that. And once again, if the placement isn't quite where you want it, you just go through and kind of pull gently to adjust that placement. Just like that. For our third knot, we will be doing vertical lark's head knots. So I will be using four ropes to show you for this knot. I'm going to start with the grouping here on the right side, and I'm going to take that group and cross it over the two on the left to form a loop. Then I'm going to take those two right strings and twist it around the left to go through the loop. And I'm just going to gently pull on that to tighten. As you tighten this knot, make sure you place it where you would like it to fall down on your project. Now take the two cords here on the right and this time cross it behind the two on the left to form another loop. Take those cords and just cross it in front of the left to go through the loop. And pull those gently and tightly to secure. As you make this knot, just make sure you leave all your ropes stacked neatly in order. As you can see, this knot looks very similar to a lark's head knot, only it hangs off to the side. For our fourth square knot alternative, we will be using a clove hitch knot. So I'm going to take the cord here on the far right, take it in front of all three remaining cords to form a loop. I'm just going to twist it around and send it through that loop and then I can pull it tight. Again, place this knot where you would like it to hang as you tighten. 
Now I'm just going to repeat. So I take that same chord in front of all three chords, twist it around to go through the loop, and pull it tight. And I'm going to do this one more time. Send it in front of all three chords, twist it around, and send it through the loop. And pull it tight. Just like that. And lastly, I will be showing you the alternative method of using the berry knot. Now to make a berry knot, we actually will be making square knots, but it will not look like a square knot when we're finished. So to make my first square knot, I'm just going to start here on the right side to take that right cord over the two in the middle. The side on the left is going to go over that right rope, behind the two in the middle, and up through the loop. And then I'm just going to pull it tight and leave a little bit of a gap up top. Now I'm going to take the left side to cross over the two ropes in the middle to form a loop. The side on the right goes over the left cord, behind the two in the middle, and up through the loop. And I just pull that tight. And then I'm going to tie two more square knots directly below this one. Once you have three square knots in a row, we're going to take the two cords in the middle and I'm going to twist them up and push them through the gap here up top. Just like that. And then we're just going to keep pulling on those two center cords until our berry knot rounds and forms. So it will look like a little ball. Then I'm going to take the two cords here once again on the right and the left and tie one square knot underneath the berry knot to secure it into place. So this alternative to a square knot even though it's made using square knots, is very different and is a great way to add texture to your projects. And there we go. This is five great knots that you can use in replacement of a square knot if you're looking to add a little bit of variation and differences to your macrame projects. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and inspiring and thank you so much for watching.